Hi dear traders, today is Tuesday, October 9th and I'm online again with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. Do you know what Saudi Arabia expects about the oil market? An oil glut is possible at the beginning of the next year. I guess this is a verbal intervention with the aim of not letting OPEC increase crude output. This is my understanding of the situation. The kingdom is entering the game, pushing the cartel into the decision not to scale up oil production rates. The US stock market is trading at record highs. Yesterday it didn't hit any fresh highs. I reckon the ACP 500 is easy in its tiny rally. Now we are approaching the year's end and large market players might decide to fix profit to offset some losses on other instruments in their portfolios. So the S&P 500 could fall prey to such profit taking. The crypto market is thrilling, Bitcoin surpassed the level of $67,000 extending its bullish run. There are some undervalued digital tokens, gold and silver have approached the levels where I would not recommend selling. Traders might get trapped and now discuss, let's discuss this on charts. Yesterday gold closed higher, we see $1,633 per troy once ahead. I feel sorry for the sellers who have placed stop losses above this zone. Such sellers uh, could be traders who opened short positions in October, they were expecting the bullish trend. You should have already opened long positions after Powell's speech and that engulfing. I assume a lot of traders are willing to sell gold now at highs. This will be a good idea only about 1833. This could be done in a speculative way at a correction. Gold is sure to break 1833 and such traders like me will push the bottom to close profitable long positions. Closing long positions means short positions. This could trigger a correction and a retracement to the mirror level of 1833, and in this area you may try scalping or pepsin strategies at a retracement. You could try trading against the market, it will be possible in that zone. Importantly, before a breakout of 1833, I would advise you against opening any short positions. To sum up, the level of 1,833 could be broken tonight after the PPI reports immediately or through a correction. If the correction is deep, you can apply the Fibonacci grid. You could try buying gold at 61% Fibonacci level, so try to enter the market during a retracement just below 1,800. I'm afraid that the sellers who set stop losses about 1,000. 800 will be activating. I predict a powerful breakout in the volatile market you might earn during a correction. The trading idea for silver is similar. The key level to watch is the round level of $25. Let me remind you that planning a strategy we draw three wave, curves, a three wave structure on charts. And the thing is that we try to trade at a retracement. Now we see a clear cut momentum and the 50% retracement. The retracement occurred during Powell's speech. After the non-farm payroll, silver made a correction and then developed three bullish waves. Now sellers will set the losses to losses about 25. I'm highlighting in the blue. If you open short positions and 50% Fibonacci level, you may close to third of your traders at 25. I recommend setting a weekly time frame on your trading platform to recognize big trends easier than on similar time frames. Now silver is generating the third big weekly wave that may lead silver to 30 and even higher. The level of 30 is a one-year high. The weekly chart shows that demand for silver is growing. Did you know that silver is not a speculative instrument to hedge risks? Like gold, it is a high-tech metal. So the euro dollar pair is rising slowly. I recommend it opening long positions, but the pair didn't make a retracement. I wanted to add more long positions at a retracement yesterday, but the pair went steadily upwards. Obviously, I'm not going to sell this instrument. The key level is 1.16, which is a high of the last week on the 4-hour chart. Let's apply the Fibonacci grid 
You may open long positions here and hunt for the round level of 1.16. If you are as ambitious as me, you may dream about a higher level of 1.19, which is a 423 Fibonacci level. I believe that the euro dollar pair will eventually reach this level. I'm holding some positions myself, which I bought at a freight breakout of a one-year low that happened during the non-farm payrolls. The pound sterling is making brave efforts to regain its footing. Last week, the vote for a rate hike caused the nose dive for the sterling. This black long candlestick means the pound slump. Curiously, a higher interest rate means a strong pound. If there are prospects of a rate hike, why did the pound tumble? I don't understand. This black candlestick represents the news. Now the US dollar is getting weaker against other major currencies after the non-farm payrolls and the Fed's meeting. The dollar's weakness is seen against the euro, gold and silver. My trading plan was the pound's growth. If you have already bought the pound, you should be at the zero now. If you haven't closed your buy positions, there is a good chance of the pound's growth. Now you can also enter the market with long positions. For example, that new candlestick could be viewed as a basis for planning long positions. The price is going to test the resistance on the trend channel for the fourth time on the daily chart. You can open positions at a retracement. The price is set to break the trend resistance. We should wait for a clear bullish momentum and a retracement. Then the time will be right for opening long positions. So that's all I wanted to tell you today. Manage your risks and take care. Bye-bye.